This footage of you mixing is going to live on forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the greatest <laughs> gift I've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome back to Devin and Freddie's <laughs> holiday special. Ding! In this week's adventure, we were invited to a potluck and we have no idea what we're doing. I brought some stuff out of my fridge, Devin brought some stuff out of her fridge, we joined forces, and now we have Chef Io to help us figure out what to make on a whim. We're gonna work it out. Just <laughs> your first judgments, thoughts, like what, what, are, what are you seeing, what are you feeling? I mean, y'all have a lot of food. Y'all have more food in your fridge than I do. So. Oh, good. I will say, and I think that, you know, the audience knows, I don't really like cooking. It's not something that, so how do you, you know, gets me excited. Postmates, <sighs> eating out. All right. Postmates, again. Yay. She just needs to find a man who knows <laughs> he likes to cook. You know what, though? If people like you didn't exist, I wouldn't have a job. So, right. you know what? <laughs> Everyone right. does not need to be in the kitchen. So, how long have you been cooking? I have actually been cooking for about 20 years. My family owned a restaurant, so around eight, they were like, she's old enough to walk, and they stuck me in the kitchen. <laughs> then I moved to LA, I'm a private chef now, and I've been cooking literally since I can stand and still cooking it up. Well, we don't have a stove, we have an oven, mm -hmm. okay. and we have milk, bread, and sex toys. <laughs> yep. We have some good basics, eggs, butter, a lemon. Always need a lemon. Strawberries. Yeah. Cinnamon is good for the holidays. Macaroons. Yeah, those were in my kitchen. Oh. <laughs> this was probably from your kitchen. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, oh. You know. Butter. Holiday necessity. Nutmeg. Okay, we can work with this. Yeah. This is totally going to happen. So, in my kitchen, I try to always keep eggs, milk, some sort of cheese and some sort of carb because worst case scenario, we can make rice and cheese, pasta, bread pudding, easy to bake, quick struggle meal that looks like you tried. That's a metaphor for my life. <laughs> Do you have an idea of what you think we'll make with this stuff? You know what, I'm actually gonna go with my first thought and I think we'll make bread pudding. I've only had bread pudding maybe once in my life and I don't really remember how it tastes. So I like, love bread pudding. Yeah. It is delicious. It is, it's like, it's hard on the outside, very soft on the inside. If you overcook it, it's literally like a giant crouton. Oh. It's very, very important. You get like the custard mix right, but other than that, it's super easy. You can throw whatever in it. And we're gonna use the nutmeg, the cinnamon, make it really taste like the holidays. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we grabbed everything that we need from the basket and we're gonna dig right in. We have bread, we have our coconut macaroons, which is gonna be interesting. We have oranges to give it some citrus, some zest, some holiday feel. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon and nutmeg, of course, it's the holidays. Yeah. And then just bread pudding basics, eggs, milk. And a heart-shaped pan. Oh. Cause the holidays are about love. All right, so I'm gonna put you in okay. charge of getting the pan ready. So I want you to take a butter uh -huh. and just rub it all over the inside of the pan. Love that. And then you can be in charge of our dairy section. Okay. So you're gonna do a half cup milk and you are going to crack three eggs. And I am going to start getting the custard ready. So I'm gonna put some maple syrup in here. I'm gonna put some of this extract, some cinnamon, all that good stuff. Now, am I just gonna crack the eggs straight into the, into the bowl. bowl? Yep. So I'm just gonna zest the oranges in here so they'll be inside our custard and it'll just give it a little more orange flavor. And then once she's finished with everything, I'll add the juice from the oranges so we just get all the orange goodness. Oh, so you can eat this? <laughs> yes, you can eat it. You just have to zest it so you don't get the part under it. It's called the pith and it's really, really bitter. I didn't know, I just thought, oh yeah, orange skin is bitter. I didn't realize it was like levels to it. Yeah, you get me. like the little outer layer and it's, it's pretty good. You wanna go ahead, you put it in the bowl. How's the pan going? <laughs> she is butter. She, she, is, she is greasy. She is greasy. She is lubed up. I need All right, a, so you are gonna take about yeah. half of the loaf, I would say. Half of the loaf, okay. That's I love good. bread. It can mean carbs, it can also mean money. Those things we love. I'm a Capricorn. Okay, so you're just gonna tear it up into medium sized chunks. You're Ooh. just gonna rip the bread up and Ooh. drop it right in there. And then I would say take about one row of the cookies and just mix it in there with the bread. You can put the half a cup of milk in the pan. And actually, let's go ahead and add one more egg in here because we want it to be very like, what is egg Saucy. Egg? So it's gonna help it stick together instead of it just being, you know, bread and milk. If you bake it, nothing happens. It's right. just gonna be soggy. Mm. But the egg is gonna be what makes it all hold together. And you can actually whisk this. I'm just gonna keep adding orange zest to it. Oh, whisk while you add. Whisk away. You know, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm just gonna eyeball it here. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe a teaspoon or two. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the nutmeg. Again, like maybe a teaspoon. 
and just kind of eyeball it. Yeah, just a little flick is, of the wrist. You exactly. Know? <laughs> just how you get your love doing this way too long. <laughs> oh, that's what we should name it. Flick of the wrist bread pudding. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. What would be the equivalent of like a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, I'm very Southern, so my grandmother was very much like, this much? I'm like, how much is that? She's like, this much. <laughs> I think that's sexy. I think it's like, don't ask, don't ask me questions. Just watch. Yeah. Just watch. Feel it, it's intuitive. And I am going to add three fourths cup sugar because it's the holiday, so this thing is going to be Ooh. sweet. Yeah. How's she looking? Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at her. Look at that. There is bread and cookies. And we have officially made a custard. Get your whisk on, girl. Get in there. Mm. Do you feel the sugar at the bottom? I feel like it's, it's disappearing. OK. Yeah. Keep going until you don't feel the sugar, because you want to make sure it's really well incorporated. Wow. <laughs> Do you feel like you know how many beats you did? I don't know how many beats I did, but I don't feel the sugar anymore. So okay. I think it's ready. Well incorporated. All right. Yeah. So I'm just going to finish her off with some orange juice. And I'm gonna use this so I don't have to worry about the seeds. So she just sliced the orange like this. Look at that, it gave him a little mouth. Oh, and yeah. now she's squeezing. You give him like. That's so cool. And then I just squeeze it. Why do you cut it that way? So I can get the juice out without having to slice it up, you know? It's, yeah. Honestly, it just keeps me from having to wash a cutting board. Got it. We're just gonna whisk it for like another 30 seconds or so, just get it all in there. Keep whisking for me. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of this in here. Because nothing says the holidays like maple. Beautiful. Look at our custard. And now we are. Ooh, the satisfying part. Just going to drench her in her custard. Drench her. How do you know if it's enough? I think I go by feel a lot mm. of times. It needs to feel wet. If you look at the bottom, got it. You still got some good moisture down there. And I legit just get in here with my hands and give her a good feel, which is the chefs always wash their hands. Mm -hmm. I love how your cooking style is all about like feel and just like looking and intuiting. Yeah, Very sometimes witchy. you just you just know, right? Mm -hmm. You just know what you know and you know what you don't know, which is why <laughs> we don't make those things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just mush it down a little bit, not too much, but just so it has an easier time coming together. I love her. Yum. She's beautiful. Yeah. Our flick of the wrist holiday bread pudding. Yeah, and I, I think we're in a good spot. We got some good crunchies in there with the coconut. So let's pop her in the oven. And that was so fast. Yeah, that was really quick. Really easy. OK, let's go bake her. All right. It's time she to eat. looks gorgeous. She looks tan. She looks tasty. Oops. She looks thick. I love her. I okay. love it. And we only ended up baking her for about 20 minutes. Yeah, and there was no more liquid, so I was like, you know what, let's pull her, because as it sits, it's gonna keep absorbing like all the moisture. So I think, I think old girl's good. I think she's ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Shall we dig in? Let's yeah. do it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, look at, she got the right consistency. Look at her. It's a good oh. bake. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. You just whipped mm -hmm. this up. We did. We did. Y'all did most of the work. I just supervised. Okay, going back for a uh -huh. second. Back for a second. <laughs> the fact that you were able to just look at our pile of foolishness mm -hmm. and then be like, I can make something beautiful out of that. No, you take it to a potluck and no one ever knows. And you're like, yeah, no, I totally been working on this a week. I planned it. I'm yeah, totally ready. Exactly. Pro tip next time you do this, melt some vanilla ice cream and just pour it over the top and just for extra calories because why not? Why not? Traditionally, people cut up the cubes of bread and do them all the same size. I like mine different sizes. Mm -hmm. I feel like you get the big pieces, which are really soft, but you get the little pieces too, which have like a lot more crunch to them. And we get crunch from the macarons and have a little coconutty, so it's like island Christmas. And it's just faster. Like, I don't want to have to spend extra time cutting the cubes into like a perfect size. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all know I don't got time. You can just hire me for this. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm and so then you don't have to do this ever again. Yes, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram at Chef Ayo Cherry. That's A-Y-O and Cherry like the fruit. And that's pretty much the only place I really pay attention, <laughs> guys. You can go look at my website. But Instagram is where I actually am. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ooh, this is incredible. Totally coming back. Such a big help. Impromptu potluck dish. Lady tasted. Lady, Lady second. Can I get some too? Okay, yes, great. Yes, awesome. yes, 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 yes.